Welcome to Hobo Hole, everybody. I mean, uh, Hippie Hole, everybody. <laughs> what a great place right by the Colorado River. There are garbages and garbage pickup and a pit toilet. And here comes Patrick from the last video inside the Spiral Labyrinth. We're also going to be meeting up with a friend of his, Daniel, who's also from Quebec. But for now, right now, let's watch Patrick park this monster. Park wherever you want. Makes that look so easy, like he's backing up a Kia, not a football field. Of course, he does have backup cameras and those two giant rear mirrors. Very cool. What a gorgeous day at a beautiful place. So I took a walk around and I found a yurt and I talked to John, the guy who owns it or who lives there, and this is what he told me about it. The old trailer used to have like a trailer on it, but now it's just a flatbed. Uh -huh. and oh, like it used to have uh, the railings or whatever? Yes, yeah, uh -huh. 1993 Dutchman trailer used to have. Uh -huh. like you could live in there and had everything. Oh, and oh, I see. Real oh, I see. But somebody took it all off and uh -huh. made a flatbed out of it for their snowmobiles. Uh -huh. So then I finally found it and then acquired it for some money. And then um, I built these wing outs, these wings uh -huh. fold on a slip hinge that I made. So I, I need to make the hinge rise up and down uh -huh. so you can take a look at how that works. Sure, sure. Here. These can go up uh -huh. Uh -huh. and then so this can all clear the deck right once right, this right. folds over right 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 without pinching and then the tent is inside of it or the t you fold the tent up and put it yeah, on I the fold outside the tent all down take the center pole and the a-frame out uh -huh. let it all collapse and then i fold all the wings on top of it oh okay to keep it down yeah and then the bed stays in there mm -hmm. and it fits between the wings nicely cool so everything's compact and then i can yeah. put, you know i pull these uh, stakes out here uh -huh. and um they act as ground sticks sure, sure. at the same time holding up the, the wing. Right, right, right. Very cool. So Very cool. Came up with that last summer before I came up for this season. Oh, yeah? And the tent, you bought it somewhere? You had it made? or I bought this tent from the Stout family in Phoenix. Oh, yeah? The guy was, the guy is, the Stout family guy. Uh -huh. um, he made parachutes in the military, I uh -huh. understand. Uh -huh. And then we, when he was done with that, then he decided, well, what am I going to do now? So... Uh -huh. and they make these tents these are uh, they have about three different levels of tent this is somewhere in the middle okay very cool yeah this is a four meter tent okay four meter it's called a bell tent right bell tent goes all the way back to the just pre-civil war uh -huh. it was an adaptation of indian tp for the civil war right Cool. So, Would you mind if, I, if I'm nosy a little bit? Hope you can get some exposure in there. Yeah, look at this. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I love it. It's very comfortable. Yeah, it looks it. It chills out a bit at night. Sure, sure. But, uh, you know, all you need is even blankets. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Even if you can see your breath in the morning sometimes, <laughs> it's all good. Yeah, yeah, sure. Very, very cool. The trailer keeps me on. Uh, yeah, so off that the ground. I can go into any funky place with rocks, uh -huh, uh -huh, right, or, or uneven terrain, right, and keeps it not from getting dirty or damaged from uh -huh. sharp things. Sure, sure, sure. Right, right. That's cool. Added bonus. That's very nice. Yeah. And then you can level it out. Yeah, it doesn't matter what the terrain is. Pretty much not. Uh -huh. it doesn't matter. It's always comfortable. Very, very cool. And how long have you been on the road? Uh, I started doing desert camping last winter. Okay, last winter. And always with the same setup? No, last year this was no trailer. Oh, just in your car? Just on the ground. Oh, oh okay. And the car. Yeah, okay. the car is, I definitely got plenty of room in my Suburban. Uh -huh. It's all set up for living in there too. Yeah. 
Oh, cool. So, uh, totally comfortable in there. It's all perfect. Everything fits where it's supposed to. Nice. Yeah. And I see you have solar on the top of your... Yeah. And then those two big propane tanks. Yeah, 400 watts of solar. Uh -huh. They're lithium batteries. There's the storage. Very nice. And uh, I'm envious. The, uh, pro the propane tanks are 240 pounders. Okay. And I've been running on them all since November. And one's empty now. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. So we still got one to go. Yeah. Nice, not bad. Yeah, still I'm bad. pretty... Only really need the heat to cook or maybe a little warmth in the middle. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. Yeah, I bet when you make a coffee or something in the morning, it's coffee. nice and hot in there. Or just chill to take the chill off sure. before you get up. Sure, sure, sure. Just fire it up and stay under the bed for a while and then right, right. wait till it's nicer. And uh, get up. Right, right. So now I saw his little litter box inside. Can you just introduce him again? Litter box? This yeah. is Tippy, Tippy, uh, Tippy Longtail, <laughs> an American uh, mutt, you know. <laughs> They're everywhere. They look like this. But uh, I found Tippy at five weeks old. She came up on my driveway and introduced herself as uh, I'm her new home. You will take care of me. <laughs> I have decided. She says, I want this new litter box from uh, PetSmart. Uh -huh. <laughs> the one that has the multi levels in it. Oh, right. You just switch out so, the. Uh... Yeah, well, or liquid. If it doesn't soak up, it goes to the next level down and, and collects in a tray. Oh, I see. I see. And um, those I use, those are pig pellets, pig, pig feed pellets. Oh, yeah? Because they're small, just right for the cat pushing it around. It's, mm -hmm. it's not like the clay litter. Clay litter, right. clay litter is uh, really a mess. And. It tracks everywhere because it'll stick to paws, right. but, but the bigger pellets won't stick to paws. Right. And it works really good on sailboats too. Oh yeah, cool. And uh, the odor gets totally absorbed. Uh, so uh -huh. um, you can go for oh two weeks without even having to change anything. And, yeah, cool. So very cool. Yeah, there's something else I have for pets that you might want to tell you. Let's see. Cool about. What's that? This is an evaporative cooler. Okay. And you put the water in. Uh huh. It's got two fans in there. Uh huh. And it runs on 12 volts. Perfect. And it's called a Mighty Max. It's also made in Arizona somewhere. Oh, yeah, cool. They're not cheap. Uh huh. But it'll run uh, about two and a half hours on about a gallon of water. Uh huh. So if you want to go to the library and your cat is going to stay in your car. Uh huh. That works a little AC? You turn it on uh -huh. and they'll sleep right in front of it. Uh huh. Very cool. And it'll keep them cool. It'll actually be nicer in the car than it'll be outside. Sure, sure. Wow. Impressive. Well, thanks, John. Thanks for letting me look around. All right. So I was parked over there and then somebody moved. So now I'm parked over here. What? What? Where do I live for now? here they're gonna have to call the cops to move me from here oh my goodness oh my goodness oh my goodness yep my new spot I doing with my shirt off first of all it's hot secondly i'm gonna go swimming <laughs> that water's probably cold as hell but i'm gonna test it anyway i just shaved and stuff so i want to rinse off <clears throat> and um test that water <laughs> literally
right, so that was a bust. That is way too cold. <laughs> I washed my face, I put my feet in there, and I'm numb. So um, that's not going to happen today, unfortunately. But uh, it is a nice spot to have, though. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, man. <clears throat> I don't know about you guys, but I'm getting hungry. Let's see what's for dinner. Hi, Daniel. You're making us dinner, huh? Yeah. Mm. Well, the marinade's made out of oil, so you see why it's Right, it's flaring. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Love it. Hope it won't catch fire. <clears throat> Not too much, hopefully. Maybe we can turn you yeah, out one side down or something. And then we have chicken on top of that, and then I made some rice with onions. Mmm, that's gonna be a good dinner. Pork chops on, mmm, mmm, mmm. Yum. That's all for us? Yes, it is. gonna be like three on those. Yep. There won't be any leftovers. Nope, because I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> Are we eating the rice that I made earlier? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's good. Thank you. Merci. Mm -hmm. I need some oh, light. No, no. Oh, yeah, it's really gorgeous. Just wanted to. So that's my time here at Hippie Hole. What a great place. Where am I off to next? I don't know, you have to tune in and find out. Ooh,